Hi Stampers, welcome back and Happy New Year. Well, I'm thrilled to kick off the year with some creative inspiration. This week, we're diving into three fantastic projects featuring the new Hooray for Surprises bundle from Stampin' Up! And that is in the new mini catalog. So this is the new mini catalog. It's actually going live tomorrow, January 4th. And also going on right now is Celebration. So that means whenever you spend $50, you get to go and choose something out of the Celebration catalog too. So that's always, always fun because you get extra product, right? Well, anyway, today again, we're going to talk about the Hooray for Surprises stamp set. And it comes with the coordinating dies. So it's a bundle, and again, it's called Hooray for Surprises. And this set is filled with adorable images of hearts and flowers and cakes. But here's the real kicker. We're not just going to make beautiful cards. We're going to take it up a notch by creating interactive cards. How? Well, the magic lies in a couple of these dies. So a couple of the dies just cut out flowers and hearts and leaves and sprigs, things like and a cake. But some of them have this little doohickey on the back, which creates a pull tab. So we're going to use those dies to create pull tabs that reveal surprise messages. So I can't wait to show you how to add that extra ele element of excitement to your cards. So get ready. Let's dive right in. And if you're as excited as I am, don't forget to hit subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video with your fellow crafters. Now let's get started with our first project. So this is the first card and it's got little stamped images all over it. And here is that little pull tab. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a little area right here where you can lift it and pull it off. Well, I'm not going to do that right now because that would spoil the card for whoever gets this. But when they pull that off, this is what they're going to see. So it says, make a wish. I think it's time for a celebration. And then inside, hope your birthday is wonderful. So I love this azure blue cardstock. I haven't used it yet, so I'm really excited about that too. But again, so when the tab is pulled off, that is what the card will look like. So it's still really pretty, but it's extra fun because it's got just that little, that little pull tab, which really makes it exciting and fun, right? So we have Azure Afternoon as our card base, and it's 11 by 4 and a quarter, and it's scored at 5 and a half. Then I have a piece of white for the inside, 5 and a quarter by 4. And then my squares on the front, this one is um, 3 by 3, and that's Daffodil Delight. Then I have a white square that's 2 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters. And then I have a piece of designer series paper that's 2 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters. So it's the exact same size as that white piece there. And this designer series paper, if you remember, it is called Bright and Beautiful, and it has all that festive, fun, birthday-ish, celebration-type paper. Um, this is available in the big annual catalog, and it's a 6 by 6 size, so it's very, very versatile. So what are we going to do first? First, I'm going to bring in a scrap, and I'm going to stamp the birthday cake. So I'm going to stamp that in Azure Afternoon. And I'm going to bring in the die, and I'm just going to cut the cake out, and then we'll put it off to the side until we're ready to put it all together. Okay, so there's our little cake. Okay, so let's bring these pieces in. So we have our yellow piece of paper, our square. We have our white piece, our designer series piece, and I also cut a piece of copy paper. So these three pieces are all the same size. They're all two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and this one is three by three. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white piece and the copy paper and I'm going to bring in the small circle and I'm going to die cut through both of those pieces. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so here is our white piece. And then we have this piece here. This is the copy paper and I'm just going to break away that little circle. And I'm going to use that as a template when I do a little bit of stamping. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in the little cake that we cut out. And I'm going to bring in the candle stamp and the little lit, the little uh, light. And I'm going to stamp 
those two images. So I'm just going to line the cake there, just kind of put it at the bottom. And I'm actually going to stamp the candle, the flame, up at the top. Just like that. So the candle is longer. It's going to fit behind the cake. And I'm going to stamp that in Berry Burst. So I'm just going to use the flame as my guide. And I'm going to put the candle up there. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue the cake down. Okay, so we can leave that alone for a minute. And let's bring in the front of the card. And we're going to stamp some cakes all around the front of the card. So let me bring in the cake stamp. And again, I'm going to stamp that in Azure Afternoon. I think that's good. And I think we got it well covered with all the little cakes. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to bring in Memento Black Ink. And I'm going to bring in the uh, sentiment from the Beautiful Balloons stamp set. And it says, I think it's time for a celebration. And I'm going to stamp that right at the bottom of our card here. So I'm going to bring this back in. There's one other little thing that I want to stamp on the front, and you don't have to. Um, there's a little stamp in the set that says pull. There's also one that says for you, and there's one that says open here. So I'm going to stamp in Azure Afternoon the word pull right there, just so the recipient knows that this is an interactive card and they need to pull that tab up. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside before we put everything together. So I'm just going to bring in the inside piece. That's uh, five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to bring in the memento. And I'm going to stamp, hope your birthday is wonderful. And then I'm going to stamp another cake on the inside. and a candle and the little flame. Just like that, it's so pretty. Okay, now let's bring these pieces back in. And on this piece here, I'm gonna use that little template and I'm gonna lay it down here. And that's just gonna help me figure out where to stamp my little secret um, surprise greeting. And I am going to stamp Make a Wish. And I'm going to stamp it in the uh, Memento Black ink. So again, I got that little template right there. So that's what they're going to see when they pull that tab off. So let's get all these stamp pads out of the way and we'll put our card together. So are you all as excited as me about tomorrow, January 4th? That's when the new catalog goes live. Uh, so I'm really excited because there's so many great poss creative possibilities in there. The stamps in there and the paper and the ribbons. Oh, it's so beautiful. Really fun. Uh, and also, don't forget celebrations. So that means with every $50 that you spend, you get to choose a free item. So that's really cool. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to put the designer series paper behind the white piece. And then we're going to put those pieces, on, we're going to glue them onto the yellow piece. So when I put glue on here, I'm going to put glue all around the edge and not on the tab. There's just a little bit of that designer series paper showing there. So I'm just going to give that a little tiny trim. And there's a tiny bit at the bottom, so I'll trim that off too. Okay, now I'm going to glue that to the yellow piece. And then I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals and put it on the front of the card. Then we'll glue the inside piece in. And there's our first project of the week. That's our first project of the new year, right? So again, when they pull that tab off, they're going to see that pretty designer series paper with our surprise greeting. Isn't that pretty? I love it. It's very cute. 
and it's so simple. So we're going to make two more of these so you'll really get the idea of how to do it. They're pretty much all the same the way you do them. They're just different shapes, um, but it does take a little bit of practice. So make sure you come on back and I will show you exactly how to do it. I'll be here tomorrow at noon. I'm here all weekdays at noon. So I'm really excited to share not only this stamp set with you, but a lot from the new catalog and from the celebration. I have a lot of the celebration free items that I can share with you too. So make sure to subscribe and to stay updated on all the crafting goodness coming your way. And of course, don't keep it a secret. Tell your friends and fellow crafters and anyone who loves the joy of creating. Tell them know where I'm at. Send them my YouTube channel. And I will be back tomorrow at noon. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.